A very good evening to all our viewers and a happy new year to everybody. It's our first uh, edition of the show in 2022 and we are so happy that you are back on with us uh, on this platform. We hope uh, we are going to have a very joyful year ahead of uh, good conversations, bold conversations, frank conversations. So thank you very much uh, for joining us and I hope you had a, a very nice holiday like I did. Tonight on the show, we are going to talk about, uh, again, the issue that has been dragging on for the past four or, or so years, um, and that is local football, the death of local football, as I like calling it. And uh, to discuss this with me tonight in the studio is uh, Marvin Katire. He's uh, a footballer who hasn't kicked the ball in a long time as a result of that issue. And then, of course, uh, 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 Paulus Emmanuel, we call him Dalla Reda, he is a representative of uh, Tigers FC, one of the Premier League uh, clubs that have been uh, also not uh, doing anything as a result of that issue. Gentlemen, thank you for joining me tonight on the show. Uh, thank you, uh, Timo, and good evening to the viewers out there. Indeed. Dalla, thank you uh, for coming. Thank you, thank you. Thank okay. you for coming in. Sure, sure. Just to, to make it clear, I'm a representative of Tigers Supporters Club. Supporters Club. Yes, supporters club. Very good. Yeah, yeah. No, that's, that's very important. It's yeah. a very important distinction. Yeah. Okay, we'll start with you, uh, <coughs> Marvin. You last played for Civics. Um, what year was that, if you remember correctly? I think we are in 2022. I think it was three years ago. Three years ago. Uh, yeah, the last time that the Premier League was played. Yeah, yeah. So that was the last time I played for, or I played football. Yeah, indeed. Yeah. Uh, m maybe give me a sense of what has been those three, I think it's actually longer than that, yeah. uh, because I think the last time was 2017-2018 season. Uh, season. Yeah. Um, since then, there hasn't been any, any league football, although of course Civics played in the, the NFA Cup last year, but the, the focus now is the league. Um, how has it been? not playing football that I'm sure you love so much for the past three to four years? It's been tough to you. Yeah. Remember that as a footballer or as a soccer player, time is the most important thing to yeah. you. Because time never waits yeah. and you start aging. Mm -hmm. Football, you play with youth and energy. Mm -hmm. Now that you haven't been playing football for four years, yeah. imagine nothing is happening yeah. with all these players. Now we have something like a national team, mm. which is aging. Mm. Most of our national team players are around 30, 31. Mm. That's the average. Mm. Mm. Who's taking over from them? Yeah, yeah. There is no one. Mm. Mm. Okay? So it has been tough in the sense that there's not even income coming through. Mm. Players are being paid. Mm. Mm. They have been being paid every month. Yeah, yeah. Meaning that there is an income to support their family mm. or whoever they, they manage to, to support. Mm. Mm. And remember, I'm talking out of experience. I bought my first car with football money. Mm. We won the league with Black Africa, and that was big enough for me to be able to purchase a car. Mm. Now, imagine someone losing their whole salary, their whole monthly salary mm. for four years. Mm. Footballers are suffering. Yes, and right. it, it, it's not a joke. Yeah, yeah. People are losing their lives. People are, have been even relocating. Mm. to rural areas because they can maintain the, 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 the expensive lifestyle of Vendok or mm. the cities. Mm. Mm. It's been really tough. Indeed. Yeah. And, and, and Dala, you, as, as supporters of Tigers, you haven't seen your beloved Igwe, Igwe Nyama, playing football for, the, for that same period. How has it been from a supporter's point of view? Uh, it, uh, it was really tough. Uh, yeah. Let me, just a bit of a background. Yeah. All along, we have uh, just been participating. And some years, we started picking up. We started winning NFA Cup. Mm -hmm. We won the league. Yeah. We started being a competitor, not yeah. no more participating. Yeah, yeah. And with that, it was with that, we were pulling a lot of supporters, even those who have actually given up hope on the team. Mm. Uh, they started coming back to the stadium, whereby you can see whenever Tigers is playing, yeah. people are turning up and... Our mission was really to start filling up St. Yuma Stadium, if mm. that was possible. Mm. And we had uh, measures in place, system in place. 
we have started uh, having a database for our supporters. Mm. We have created the platform, mm. WhatsApp group. Supporters are registered. We know who they are. Mm. We have representatives in every town in the country. Yeah. And we are just trying to, to pick up, to make, since we are the oldest team in the country, we are just trying to pick up everything mm. to make sure that when football starts, yeah. We are ready to go and we are ready to cheer the boys and mm. make sure that everyone is on par. Mm. Unfortunately, all these ideas, all these views and everything, you can't go to anyone and tell him, join the Tiger Supporters Club. Yeah. For what? He will ask you actually, for what? <laughs> Which Tigers? There's Which no... Tigers? There's no football. <laughs> yeah. I, why must I join? Yeah. And all these questions, we really don't um, have answers to them. Mm. Fortunately or unfortunately, last year there was a bit of football, yeah. the MTC Cup, mm. but due to the pandemic, we couldn't attend to the stadium. But you can see how many people were like yeah. questioning, when can we, when and you see, mm. but the, the love of football, they're out. Mm, mm. It's there. No, no, I know. I know. I mean, uh, we, <laughs> I'm a fanatic. Uh, and what I've been saying for many years, <clears throat> because obviously I, 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 I follow so closely the English Premier League. Uh, and, and people tend to ask me why I, I am more hooked on to European football than I am to local football. And I'm saying these are the issues. You, you start really developing love for a particular football club or just the, the entire football uh, in the country. And then two years pass without seeing any action. How do I not then <laughs> return my loyalty to, to my beloved Manchester United in England? But, but, but Marvin, the, 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 this situation, and, and our, it's good that you touched on it a little bit earlier about the fact that, um, about the fact that you know, football meant something to those who play it in terms of also income. It's not just a, an art of the ball rolling on the, on the turf. It's also a, 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 livelihood, a source of livelihood for, for players. Um, and I'm surprised that you say that you bought your first car with football money. So, so that is, is it's actually a big enterprise in the, in the country. <laughs> to you, it's a big enterprise. Imagine these 16 teams. Mm -hmm. On average, there is 25, 25 players per team. Yeah. That's around 400 players, mm -hmm. earning mm -hmm. roughly 2,000 a month. That's 2,000 in 25 players or 400, uh, 400 players. It's around 800,000 a month mm. that's ca that can be circulated mm. into the economy. Yeah, yeah. If you win a league, like what we did with Black Africa, we earn around more than 25,000. Mm. That's what we got as a bonus mm. for winning the league. That's how big the money is. Mm. 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 I can relate to, even to my mother. She was a cleaner at... Uh, uh, or a general worker at a school mm -hmm. like at the village. Mm -hmm. She used to earn around 1,500. She raised me. Mm -hmm. I went to universities with 1,005. Mm -hmm. Now imagine a young player earning 2,000. Mm -hmm. They can do very, a lot with that. Yeah, yeah. So people have lost everything. And most of these players, they have family. Mm -hmm. A kid mm -hmm. or a girlfriend or, or some kind of a family or even supporting their parents. Yes. Now they have lost all that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. And imagine it's four years now yeah. that there is no football. Mm -hmm. We had our under 20s that went to the African uh, Championship. Yeah. It's been two years after they, they have went there. Mm -hmm. So where are they now? Yeah, exactly. They are now 22 years yeah, yeah. or 23 years. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They are aging. And that is when they are supposed to really now kick on their careers now. Hundred percent. Because I read, I read the story to catch There was, a, I read the story about one boy. Uh, it was, I, be, I think it was last week or so. Um, he's just in Wavis Bay now. One, one, one from that group. Yeah. He's just at the coast. There isn't anything happening, and, and because that income is no longer there, you, you you start looking for other means to survive, and and some of those means may not even be the legal ones. And, and that that I I I, I fully understand. Uh, your, 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 your fear. Um, Dala, I know that you are not, you, you are from the supporters club, but you are speaking here also with the authority of the chairperson of, uh, of, um, of Tigers. 
I, I'm just wondering, in what way do you think the club itself has been affected by the current stagnation of football in the country? I mean, we saw MTC pulling out uh, the other time, saying, you know, giving foot, football ad administrators an ultimatum to say, if you don't sort out your issues by this time, we are going to pull our sponsorship. And I think those guys had committed 100 million over a span of years to football. And then you have your minor uh, sponsors also in the club, maybe uh, who, uh, somebody who supplies you with water or some other things. But they joined your club for visibility, to say our brand is being visible when we are uh, aligned to Tigers, or when Tigers win something, we are associated with winners. When in the, abs in the absence of any football and any winning, obviously your club must have been affected also by maybe some sponsors pulling out and, and, and so forth. Uh, what has been the experience? Uh, yeah, like uh, Maven has just mentioned, we have players registered under our bill, and what are those players doing? Mm. And you know, it's not only about football, it's about also a career. Mm. You see, and uh, this is the people we are looking at. We, some of them, they are not even based uh, in Windhoek. We yeah. have players from all around the country as Tigers. Mm. And these players, they need our support either financially, physically, and mm. even spiritually. Mm. And uh, all these things without football, you got someone from, let me say, from Kietmans. Yeah. He came to Windhoek, he's a good player, and he was expecting the football to start. Mm. Now, as a team, you have to fork out to take care of this person. Mm. But when you are taking care of this person, what are you gaining from that person? If there was football, and then you can say, we will get something out of him because he's our player. Mm. He's delivering now, on the pitch. Yeah. He's delivering on the pitch and mm. we deliver on the outside the pitch. Mm. But now without football, what are we saying? And this, uh, like we are saying, it's, uh, it's not only affecting Tigers player or Tigers football clubs, so per se, mm. but it's affecting all the players, irrespective of what clubs they are playing for, mm -hmm. all the clubs who are involved in, in the football. Mm. And they, they are affected in such a way that, because uh, you, you, and the planning, mm. you, you have on the outside, management who have to run up and down yeah. making sure that this brand remain relevant to, in the society mm -hmm. but how do you keep the brand relevant in the society if there's nothing happening mm -hmm. all these good ideas like we used to use semnioma as our, our home ground because we have even elderly people mm -hmm. from bumble location there Walking to St. Newman Stadium just to watch mm. their favorite Tigers play. Yeah. And then you have vendors. We also. have vendors who are also benefiting. Mm. You, you have a lot and it was more of a, other than wasting time, like you said, to watching Manchester United on TV, but mm. at least we were seeing the love of the game. Mm. Mm. You are in Katutura, people are talking about tomorrow at St. Newman Stadium. And this is what we wanted. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't know if you want to say anything uh, before we go for a break, uh, Marvin, maybe to react to what uh, you said. Yeah, no, definitely, uh, as Mr. Paul said, remember, clubs, they need to generate income mm. in order to pay players. Mm. <laughs> so now there is no income for clubs. Yeah. We, as players, we can't blame clubs, mm. our clubs, even if we have contract with them. Because yeah, yeah. there is no income on their side for them to pay the players. Mm -hmm. So it's really... It has been really tough. Yeah, yeah. Imagine seeing someone, a player that you used to play with or against, a very young player, you don't even recognize them in Katutura. Mm. That's how bad it is. Yeah, yeah. The person it's either have become now a chochi, mm. or they, they have they, their whole value mm. as a human being have even uh, even went down. Mm. Depreciated. Depreciated. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. It's really tough. I can imagine. Uh -huh. We go for a quick break and then we return with our conversation.
We continue with uh, Marvin and Della on the agenda. Um, and the reason, again, just for my viewers, the context is that uh, for this whole time, the, the focus has been on NFA and NPL and all these football bodies. Uh, and nobody has really spoken to reporters or not much has been said to, to them in terms of uh, uh, the, the, the players themselves getting uh, their voice out and, and and clubs themselves at individual level as a club to say how have you been affected by the death of football now Marvin again quickly coming back to you um, what were your childhood aspirations as far as football is concerned what is it that uh, what is the, the pinnacle the climax that you wanted to reach as a footballer <laughs> and how did you hope that the local league would help you reach that level? Uh, look, uh, Toiwa have been fortunate. There has been maybe twice delays with the league starting in the past as well, yeah. during my playing career, but it wasn't this long. Mm. So I have been fortunate for that, yeah. uh, to, to play consistent football. Yeah and to, to earn a salary as well. So the biggest ambition on my part was that I wanted to represent my country. Mm. I wanted to play the national team. So that was the, my biggest ambition. Mm. Mm. Now I'm 36 years old, mm -hmm. high time I have flight out. Yeah. yeah, so I think I have called it a day. Yeah. So I wanted to play still to play at yeah. least two seasons yeah. before I call it a day, but now that the football haven't been played for yeah. over a couple of years. Yeah. I think I have called it a day. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So reaching my, my peak, I think, uh, something that will remain in the past. Yeah, uh, yeah. indeed. No, no, but it's important. I mean, uh, the, the greatest honor in football is to play for a country. Yeah. Uh, we saw the African Cup of Nations now, um, silly questions being posed to African uh, players that are you going to honor the collab your country and people are saying there's nothing bigger than uh, playing for your country if I play for Liverpool as, as uh, Salah or, or Mane um, that is not even the biggest honor of my career because I can leave Liverpool and go play for Chelsea or play in China but for my country I have no alternative yeah. that I can play for another national team that is that is my team so so I, I can understand why it was important for you to pull on that Jesse of the Braveries and, and make your country proud. Um, Dala, the, there is a, 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 the, a CAF, the FIFA CAF delegation that uh, visited the country this, this week. Uh, they have met government, NFA, um, uh, a lot of stakeholders. Uh, I can't remember all of them now. What is it that you hope comes out of those meetings? Yeah, I think um, what we are hoping, and that's not only from us, it's from all the soccer lovers and sport lovers in the country, is just to find an amicable solution yeah. and that football can start. Mm. I think that's all what we are expecting. Uh, from our side, we are represented because I guess we are part of the NFA. NFA is one of the stakeholders. Mm. So whatever the discussion, let's not preempt the, the outcome. Yeah, yeah. But we know whatever the outcome is, it will reach us and uh, we, mm. we take it from there. We take it from there. Um, Ma Ma Marvin, what, what, what solutions do you hope come out of these engagements? I know that, uh, you, like you said now, that you, you want to hang up your boots, but for those that are still, like the boys that we spoke about that played uh, the Africa, the CAF cham Championship the other time, um, what are the kind of solutions that could help those children, those boys, reach their, their full potential? <laughs> Toivo, uh, I remember one say of Nelson Mandela. He said, we don't care what color the cat is, whether the cat is white or black or blue, as long as the cat can catch the mice mm. or the mice. Mm. Yeah, so the outcome, uh, what we want as footballers or soccer players is just to play ball. Mm. It's just for the soccer to start. Yeah. Whatever solution they come up with, it's for them. Mm. It's above our pay grade as players. Mm -hmm. We want to play soccer. Mm. 
Mm. If there is a soccer house that's governing football in Namibia or yeah. that's running football, yeah. you can run something which is not active. All we are asking for is that let football be active. Mm. Let, let us play soccer. Yeah. Whether there is politics or infight or whatever there is, mm. it can happen in the background. Mm. But the ball on the field should be played. Indeed. That's all we are hoping for, for soccer to start. Indeed. Um, the, the other thing, Dala, is the, um, the... You want, as a country, to be moving forward. Just not only in football, in everything. You want your education to improve. You want your health, uh, public health sector to improve. Um, uh, even in our private lives, you want there to be a sign of growth. That I used to drive uh, a golf golf two, <laughs> but now I'm driving whatever Range Rover, or whatever. And I'm not saying that cars are necessarily the measurement of of success, but you want there to be movement in your life. If you used to live with your parents, you want to eventually move out of your parents' house, start living in your, on your own, start a family, and, 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 and. So the same logic applies to football, that where we were in 1994, you want us to be ahead of where we were back then. In other words, for example, we are talking about becoming a professional league. How do you become a professional league when just as you start gaining some momentum, like you, talk, like you spoke about the Tigers, having gained some momentum, then something like this happens. How does the current situation affect actually that growth as we, as, as we, as we want? Yeah, uh, it, that's an obvious, because the moment there's nothing, see, it's like you are in the, in the bus. You get in the bus and you are heading to Khobabes. Yeah. And that bus is stuck. Just at Klein Venduk. Oh. It's not moving. Oh, that thing. Oh. No, that thing is even <laughs> far. Even... <laughs> Just in Klein Venduk. Now, yeah. when it's stuck there, yeah. what will happen to those passengers who are there, who are not patient, who want to move, mm. who have maybe some are young people, they have interviews in Khobabes, yeah. some have uh, other commitment in Khobabes. Yeah. Obviously, they will jump out of that ship and get with the whatever means of transport which will be available mm. for them to move. Mm. And that's obvious. Yeah. And that's why you see, I can give a practical example. Last year, uh, uh, netball is one of the sports which is not really watched. Mm. But in the absence of football last year, when you go to Trasnami or whatever court where they played netball, you find it's full. Yeah. And we were fortunate because Tigers, we ended up runs up last year. Mm. But you can see all the other, the only place where we meet a supporters club was now, a supporters. Mm. It was now at, uh, at the netball court, mm. Mm. which we normally didn't do. But what make us shift some of these things is because at football, which majority of the people likes, there's nothing happening. Mm. And that's exactly what's happened. You see, you, you always have a plan, okay, this Saturday, I cancel this, I cancel that, because my beloved Tiger is playing, so I have to do this early. And we even have supporters who normally travel with the team. Yeah. We, we can mention names who will, you hear Tigers is playing in Valfes, at his own cost, traveling to Valfes just to go and watch the team. Mm. Now, by, without active football, you demoralize such supporters. Yeah. And one day, even if football got to start, it will take time for this person to repent and start following the team because that doubting is still in his mind. Yeah. So it's a matter of uh, we, we really have to move. And when we, when we have to move, it was a time when we said, no, there's no supporters at the football match is 10-20. Mm. Now the supporters were coming. You can see 100, 300, the number was growing. Yeah. Now, when the football resumed, it's up to us supporters to keep these people motivated, to try to communicate to them, engage mm. them, so that one day when football starts, mm. we still, you don't find an empty stadium, yeah. but at least they are supporters. Indeed.
So, so, so Marvin, who as, as, a, as a man who has not played football for this past three, four years, who do you blame for your ordeal? Who is at fault for, in your view, when you sit down and say, Jesus, I used to play football, but I can't play football anymore. I'm just stuck at home. Who do you blame for that? <laughs> I think we are, we are past that stage yeah. of blaming anyone. Yeah. We need a solution, and the, lo the solution can only come from our leaders. Yeah. We don't choose all, uh, our leaders. Mm. Leaders are, are being chosen by regional associations and all that. I think our football body yeah. have failed us, have really failed us. Okay? And it, it won't help us talking about how they failed us, but it will be better if we can find a solution and quicker. Because mm. it's been three, four years. Mm. We should have a solution. Mm. Mm. We should really have a solution for soccer to start. Yeah, yeah. indeed. Yeah. We go for another break and return for the last stretch of the show. A property show provides viewers with the best in class property content from looking for the perfect house to transforming it to the perfect home with focus on interior designing transforming your garden into a tranquil haven to going green and having the funds and security of financing and insurance the my in a property show has it all tune in and make your house a home with our monthly My In A Property show on Wednesday evenings at 6.30 on all the NMH Facebook platforms and our website TV channel, OneUp2, oneup2.com. We continue with the last segment of the show. Um, uh, Dala, I want to pose a question that I posed, uh, similar to, to what I posed to, to Marvin now, and, and that is really to say, my understanding is that the lack of football is not a, a result of money or anything. It's a result of egos among football leaders saying, my decision or highway, or my way or highway. Um, why are we having a system like that where your club, the oldest club in the country cannot play its football because of egos of individuals? Uh, you see, it's 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 very tricky, but uh, it's very tricky, but also very serious. That guy was formed in 1927, I think. Samuel was not even born. <laughs> Samuel was born in 1929. Yeah. <laughs> now you see, what 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 we are saying, or what we want, is football. All these other things, you see. And remember, football is not never played in the boardroom. Football is played on the on the field. Yeah. And if our leaders can meet and have their fight in the boardroom, as Marvin has said, fight in the boardroom, but here, whatever it differences, you see, but we must not forget every house got its rules. Mm. and the rules are very clear and they are protected by FIFA mm. and FIFA in Namibia is represented by NFA mm. so that's why you see to us uh, as Tigers we, we still believe that NFA is running the football in the country and we adhere to what they are telling us yeah. now if there's other issues to us, we are waiting now for our leaders, which is NFA, to tell us and to direct us. Yeah. Other than that, all these other things, the egos, you see, it's non-issue. Yeah. The issue here is, and what must go out is, no one is bigger than football. Yeah. And 
no one must be bigger than the country, so to say. Yeah, but that is, but that is where I have a, an issue, um, 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 Dala, mm -hmm. because FIFA only get mentioned when it's convenient for us in that moment. When it's not convenient, we have seen NFA saying to FIFA, for example, these leadership things, we Ranga being this, this uh, uh, expelled, and then FA, uh, and the FIFA says, look, we recognize Ranga Hekali as our football, pre as your football president, uh, and we we want you to reinstate. We command you to reinstate him. Then suddenly NFA says, no, it's not up to FIFA to tell us this thing. So what I've found very opportunistic is that when things go in a particular direction, when things are convenient, they say, oh, we are on the side of FIFA. When FIFA says, guys, you can't do that now, that, 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 that one is wrong. Then suddenly, no, we are NFA, we are independent from NFA. So where do you draw the line? Uh, uh, now now you, see, you see where the problem is. That's uh, the correct word you use opportunistic. Mm. You see, we have people who want to gamble with the football, yeah. who are taking actually a chance. But if, with all honesty, if you go to the setup, I think that setup is very clear. Yeah. And if we all agree to follow that setup, mm. we might not find ourselves in this situation. Because for now, it's chance takers, opportunistic people, who are they out? Who don't want any progress mm. in our football mm. you see leaders they are not the one making football but they are only there to guide yeah. players teams mm. they are the one making football yeah you can have all the administrative right in place you can do whatsoever but without teams you can't play football mm. So the true assets of football is the true asset of football. People like Marvin it's, and, and it's the, players and in the club where they belong, mm. and that must also be respected. Yeah, not not try to to pick and choose when because this is what's happening. Yeah. and like I said, we are from the supporter side. We Tigers, as a football club, is part and parcel of the NFA league. Mm. We are part of that. And like you have asked, the delegation is here. Whatever it's discussed and whatever the outcome of that meeting with all the stakeholders yeah. will come to us as Tiger supporters through our relevant structure. Yeah. Then that's how we respect our structure. And we are arguing all the other, including teams, to respect the setup structure yeah. and then we move. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, we might end up Everyone doing as he wishes, as he feels, and then where are we heading to? I hear you. And that's, that's, that become a cracking rock for us just to move forward. I hear you. So in, in your case, Marvin, <clears throat> you seem to be doing well for yourself outside football. Um, you are employed full-time elsewhere, and, 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 that, and, and being able to then take care of yourself and your family. But what is the worst you have seen? You don't have to give me any name of anyone, but <clears throat> what is the worst you've seen in terms of how lack of football has impacted a particular player that you, you, that you know, that you have played with or you have played against? Uh, look to you. <clears throat> One thing that, that we must be clear with, or that the picture that we must draw out there to the, to the outer public is that out of 25 players per team across Namibian teams, I will put my head on the block. Out of 25 players, it might be that only five players have other, co uh, other work uh, commitments elsewhere, mm. Mm. or they work somewhere else. Yeah. Out of 25, only five or three. Mm. Maximum, it's six the team, mm. that's people that are working or studying. Mm. The rest of these players are living off or they used to live off the salaries that they are getting paid from their clubs. Mm. Mm. Imagine someone losing, firstly, they start losing furniture in the house. Mm. The TV is gone because they can't afford to pay rent. Mm. The bed is gone. 
everything in the house is gone. Mm. The person needs now to move back, whether it's to Ketmat or to whether it's Otavi or wherever they came from. Mm. And that guy used to have a life here. Yeah. He has a girlfriend, he has a baby or two kids. Who's taking care of that? Mm -hmm. So now we are losing all these good young boys to in F a inactive football. Mm -hmm. So these guys are going into streets mm -hmm. and they are gone forever. Because as, as, you, as you have even seen in the past, a footballer, you are only relevant when you are playing. Mm -hmm. As soon as you stop playing, yeah. If you don't have anything else to sustain you, mm -hmm. you are gone. It's that simple. So football keeps us alive. Yeah. It's the way of living. Without football, for a soccer player, there is no life after that. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. we just need to be honest with one another. Most footballers, they are not academically gifted. Yes. Like some of us or the few of us. Mm -hmm. So what happens if that person doesn't get a contract, a professional contract elsewhere. Yeah, yeah. For the past three years or four years, how many players have we exported? Very few. Mm. Most of the players that are playing outside today, they went before the, the, the stoppage of football. Mm. Mm. They shall only let them. Yeah. They Dion hot to them. They went before while the football was active. Mm. 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 And we had more than 10 or 11 players playing outside. Yeah, yeah. Now today we haven't exported any, any new players exactly. because of inactive football. Very true. And, and that brings me to, the, <clears throat> to my next question, Dala. How do we produce our next Shaloliles, our next Colin Benjamins, our next Razundara uh, Shikulus? When um, <clears throat> we are, because this has been the, the window of opportunity for players is the window through which scouts and others saw your players. You have uh, Tigers, you have produced uh, players, uh, I think, what is the boy from the north who is uh, in the national team with Kamchacha. Kamchacha. <clears throat> Guys like that. Um, that transmission belt has come to a halt. It's no longer moving. How do we produce our next stars? Uh, the truth is, toys, there's a lot of Shalwilis there in the street. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of Colin Benjamin there in the street. And uh, what are they doing now? They turn into alcohol and drug abuse. Mm. They turn into unnecessary things. Yeah. Because of lack of food. See? But the moment we start, there are kids there. Mm who are even young, and his aim is just, I want one day when I want to grow up, I want to play for Tigers. Yeah, yeah. This young boy's dream is shut yeah. completely, if there's no football. But the moment there is football, you hope. will start seeing these kids, even forcing, even your son will force you, Daddy, my favorite team Tigers, where I want to play one day, is playing tomorrow. Can you take me to send you my stadium so that I can watch? Mm. And it's through that he become familiar with everything. Mm. The color of the team, what do the team do, the setup of the team, and even the history of the team. Yeah. But if there's nothing, there's nothing we can really do. We'll end up, uh, you see, we are called it's, uh, the most drinking country in Africa. <laughs> whatsoever. And then this number is increasing. <laughs> we might end ending up topping that list of drinking because these young boys, yeah. all what they think of now is... Uh, the only distraction. They want to with the big boys. Yeah. Uh, that's all. The only distraction we have now, because we used to be distracted by football. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now we need uh, a bottle of uh, something to distract you from your, yeah. from your thoughts. Mm -hmm. Trevor, just to add on that, is yeah. that I'm a banker by profession. Yeah. So when COVID hits, we can work from home. Yes. Even you included. Yes. You can work from home mm -hmm. and still produce what, newspaper. the newspapers. Mm -hmm. I can still work from home and produce whatever it's required of me. Mm -hmm. A footballer, a soccer player, if there is no football... You can't play virtually. You can't play virtually. <laughs> Unless it's a PlayStation. Yeah, you, 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 you can't sell yourself out there. Yeah, yeah. A national team coach, uh, Coach Bobby Samaria, won't see you. Yeah. Because you can't play in a computer, or you can't play at home. Yeah, yeah. So for you to penetrate the national yeah. team. Yeah. 
Exactly. So there's a replica effect in everything when football is not played. I agree. And the biggest losers, it's soccer players. No, definitely. The last question, therefore, that's a very, very good point. Uh, the last question, you, you kept talking about Semnyama Stadium where taking your son there to play or your daughter, I mean, to, to watch, and how that is actually the, the home ground of Tigers. There's no, there's no Semnyama Stadium to talk about as we, as we sit here tonight. Uh, uh, Semnyama has been declared persona non grata in football terms, same as uh, Independent Stadium. What is happening to our country? How do we get, because you can now resolve the league things. Maybe the, the FIFA meeting this week, you know, find a common solution, a common denominator. Let's start foot, playing football. But where? You see, it's a, a, a semi-oma stadium issue. It's something which can be resolved. Yeah. And the matter is, it's just two institutions. That's the NFA and City of Window. The football belong, the stadium belongs to City of Window. The football belongs to NFA. These two institutions sit around the table, solve the issue. Mm. Same applied to Independent Stadium. And the worst part is Independent Stadium, both with Seminoma Stadium, they have caretakers, mm. people who are taking care of those facilities. Mm. But are we saying we couldn't see that this is coming? No. You see, the infight, the leadership infight, brought out all these things, because I'm not talking to who I was not supposed to talk to who. Mm. Uh, for Semnyama Stadium, I know this thing was raised long ago. And the guys said, uh, uh, wherever they are, they know what happened. Mm. I don't want to mention names here, but they know. <laughs> Even some of them, when they are watching this, they will see me, they say, yeah, that one, we are lucky he's not mentioning our name, <laughs> but he know what he's talking about. <laughs> Same apply <laughs> yeah. to to the colleague at Independent Stadium. Yeah. Independent Stadium is a full-time care, caretaker mm. on the payroll of the government. Yeah. But just to maintain the facility, he can't. Where are we heading to? Yeah. What is that? The schools. We have schools in window with their playing field that are up to standard. Much, much better. Much, though. much better. Mm. And most of these things, some of these schools, the, the facility are taken care by students yeah. or by learners mm. who are not even be paid. Yeah. But you have people who are paid, but they can't do their job. Yeah. And uh, I think uh, the field issue, let it not be an issue, yeah. but there will be a way out. If football have to start, yeah. there will be a way out. Yeah. I think that will solve the solution. Let's, uh, let's fight one component first, and yeah. the component is the football to start. Yeah. When football starts, all the other facilities, Everything these will, are facilities that will come yeah. in. Everything will fall in place yeah. on its own. Gentlemen, Marvin, thank you very much for your time. Pleasure. I appreciate it. Sure. Uh, Dala, we, we meet again, and uh, that is it for tonight. Uh, I hope uh, you've now heard from the assets of football in our country. For, for, as you heard, the assets are footballers and football clubs. Without those two, there can never be any talk of football in this country. Thank you for watching. Thank you.